introducing cast and characters for Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Bennett. Mrs. Bennett. My dear girls! Ah! Jane Bennett. Bennett. Jane Bennett. Elizabeth Bennett. Mary Bennett. Introducing Kitty Bennett. Not that kitty, the other kitty. Oops. In introducing Ki Lydia Bennett. Did you see the heads of guys over there? Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. One. Introducing Mr. Bing Bingley? I like warm hugs. Oh, that doesn't get frozen. Get off the stage. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now, introducing. Sight. Introducing Mr. Bingley. Hi. Introducing Mr. Darcy. If this smile wasn't fixed on my face, I wouldn't be smiling. Introducing Mr. Collins, the awkward duckling. I should have asked Lady Cuffin the bug if this was okay with her. Introducing Mr. Wickham. I am definitely not the bad guy in the story. Bye. <laughs> Introducing Mr. Wickham's grandma. Grandma, what are you doing here? Get off the, the, the stage! <laughs> are in scene one of Pride and Prejudice, where the the lot of people are dancing at William Lucas's house. Action. Elizabeth. No, you should really dance to somebody. Like who? Elizabeth, she's awfully cute. Nah, not tolerable. Not handsome enough to tempt me. Barely tolerable. Go back and dance with your partner. Go, go. Okay. So, here we are later on in scene two. Um, uh, Mr. Bingley and Jane have been kind of falling in love. And here we see that it's getting quite, a lot, going quite along quite nicely. Action. Later on, like, later on. Ding dong. No. It's you. Oh, no, in a sec. Get on the bed. Go. <laughs> it's you. It's you. I call your grandma. No, your mother. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it's okay. It's you. Well, I'll send her a letter. Do be you. Thank you. I just got the letter. Jane has gotten sick. Oh, it's just the most wonderful news. Oh, now she wonderful. will get to stay there and become closer to Mr. Bingley. They are going to marry. I just know it. It'd be wonderful if you got sick. <laughs> Mr. Wiggum comes to town with some officers. Here we have Wickham talking to Elizabeth. At a party. At a party. Did you hear about Mr. Darcy? Oh, he was so rude to me. He said I was barely tolerable enough to... He wasn't even beautiful enough to tempt him. That rude man. He's so proud and everyone thinks he is so rude. Yeah, what about you? 
everyone in his own town thinks he's so proud and rude, too. I think he's proud and rude. He took a lot of money from me, and he wasn't nice. <gasps> How could he do such a thing? Yeah, brah, he was so mean. And you're even his adopted... His father's adopted son. Yeah. I grew up with him. How could he do such a thing? He's so mean. Mr. Bingley and Darcy are leaving Netherfield. Introducing Mr. Collins coming to Longbourn to look for a wife. Action. I hope you are ready. For tonight at dinner, we are having another guest. <gasps> Mr. Bingley? No, Mr. Collins. <gasps> the man who is to what? inherit this estate after I die because I have no male heirs. <laughs> I know you hate him. But you at least must tolerate him for his stay. <laughs> Go. Ding dong. Hello. <sighs> Who are you? <laughs> Come on in. I outweigh you by a lot, man. Don't mess with me. <laughs> what? Do you want to dance? No. Do you want to go play croquette? No. Don't even know how to play. How about ping pong? No. Will you marry me? Uh, of course not. We have the same hair color. Oh, wait, we don't. Will you marry me? Nope. Well, females tend to say no in the first place. But then they say yes. Uh, actually, no. Goodbye. Oh, everything is such a tither. Oh, Mr. Lizzie. Lizzie refused mi Mr. Collins. And now Mr. Collins is starting to refuse Lizzie. What do you want me to do about it? Bring Lizzie in here and force her to marry Mr. Collins. Lizzie! Yes, Papa? Your mom says that you rejected Mr. Collins' offer of marriage. Is that true? Yep. And your mom, um... Says you must marry him? Mm -hmm. Yes, if she does not, I will never see her again. Well, from this day forward, you must be a stranger to any of our parents. Your mother will never see you again if you don't marry him. And I will never see you again if you do. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome. Now we are see Jane coming back from town where she has tried to see Mr. Bingley without success. <laughs> Jane! Oh, I tried to see Mr. Bingley, but he w but I couldn't. I don't know why he did not know I was there. I He could have seen me. I do not know. <clears throat> I tried to see his sister. His sister came over one day, but the next time she did... She made it very clear that she did not want to be my friend anymore and that I was not to see Mr. Bingley. Oh, what to do? Ah, no! The officers have left the town and have gone to Brighton. And Lydia was so put out and heartbroken that, they, that she could not be with them that her father, Mr. Bennett, let her go to Brighton to be with them. But then, oh, tragedy struck. Hey, you want to go off together, ma'am? Oh, yes, I would love that. Let's go. Yeah, let's have fun. Woohoo! Someone had news. Shh. No, not someone had news. Here comes the messenger to tell about Lydia and Mr. Wickham. <coughs> what? Not that. <coughs> yes. Uh oh. <coughs> Wickham has ran away with Lydia. Oh no! We are ruined! Ruined! I tell you, no one will marry my daughters now! Oh no! If only Lizzie had married Mr. Collins! And only if Mr. Bingley had married Jane! Oh my poor dear Lydia, how could you? How could Mr. Wickham deceive us so? Oh my poor nerves! Quick, get this man in sorts! Yes, we must help her! <laughs> Elizabeth has gone on a trip with her aunt and uncle. Originally, they were going to the seaside, but ended up going to Derbyshire. And they decided to visit Pemberley, which was the state of Mr. Darcy. But Lizzie made sure that Mr. Darcy was not supposed to return before they had left. 
You want to go visit where Darcy lives? Only if he's not home. He's been gone for weeks. He won't be there. Trust me. Okay, let's go. Dun 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 dun. Hello. Dun 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 dun. I'll show you the house. Come, follow me. Wee. Now over here are gardens. Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Hello. Welcome to my state. Jane and Fry. Hello. Introduce your aunt and uncle. This is my aunt and uncle. Hi. Oh, 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 we didn't know you would be here. Your servant said you wanted to be here for a while. I arrived a day early. It was not much fun. Now, would you like to see the the gardens? There is my a lovely. There is a lovely fishing stream where you can fish. You are supposed to be I like home. fishing. Mr. Wickham and came to visit her sisters at Longbourn. Mr. Darcy was at my wedding. What? Yeah. Jane was. Liz Lizzie was so surprised that she wrote to Mrs. Gardner and asked her why this was. And she found out that Mr. Darcy had been very influential in getting Lydia and Mr. Wickham to marry. Later... Ding dong! Can I speak with Jane? Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Go out! Will you marry me? Oh, yes, 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 Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. This is good. Give Elizabeth. I was good Elizabeth and, and Darcy. Mary and Darcy. Where's Kitty? And Kitty. Not Mary, though. So they all went on a walk. To go together. I want to go visit my friends. I'll be right back. Okay. I haven't properly thanked you for what you have done with Mr. Wickham and having Lydia marry him. Ah, uh, shucks, there was nothing. If I only thought of you. If your feelings are what they... If my feelings have not changed. But I know that you are such a woman as not to play with me. So please tell me if your feelings changed. Yes. Will you marry me? Yes.